Welcome back. Well, we've collected uh, all the grade zero markers we need to get into the uh, calibration center. So let's head back to the grade zero. Before I'm do, uh, going to do that, though, let, I want to look at something here in Relto because I have picked up two Relto pages, which. Uh, we haven't seen the results of yet. One of them added this imager, which shows images we took with our key on a uh, rotating uh, basis. This is the first image I took just after we got the key in uh, Garrison. And then come all the Kadish gallery images. And we can see all of our images here. You can see the key symbol on the bottom of the uh, imager, just in case you ha didn't figure out that these were the images you took. The other um, Relto page we got gave us a sun, as well as two moons. That's no moon, that's a space station. No, wait, you're right, it's a moon. Okay, um, enough fooling around. Let's head back to the Great Zero. Which of course means that we need to go through the Nexus. I keep expecting to meet Whoopi Goldberg here. Or maybe William Shatner. And what do you think about that? I made both a Star Wars and a Star Trek reference within one minute. See all the places we've registered um, our key are now listed here. Okay. So we can use the upload machine that's here to upload all the symbols, all the markers, and that should give us access to the calibration center. So those two doors at the end, which were closed before, should be open now. Okay, so now we are in the calibration center. You can see that the stream continues here. There's two uh, more doors on both sides here, but we cannot get through there. I guess they lead outside. And from here, uh, we can see that there's an imager here. It shows some uh, location somewhere in, uh, in Agura might be able to recognize it, but I doubt it. And it shows a shell uh, symbol. What's that used for? That's the question. I said you, that I doubt that you would be able to recognize it, because um, if you don't know already what it, uh, where that is, then it's hard to see. If you do know, with, like me, then you can see that that's what it's supposed to represent. Um, okay, so this is the calibration center itself. There's these uh, four devices. Two on each side. And this big thing. No, no idea what that is. Over there is uh, a giant heat sink, is what it looks like, inside of a lake. I think that's maybe the, the central neutrino dispenser that was mentioned in the notebook, 
either this is the neutrino dispenser or that crystal thing in the courtyard is the neutrino dispenser but I'm betting it's this thing well we need to uh, do the final phase of grade zero, zero calibration for which we need to use these devices. There's four more markers we need to collect, and these are the calibration grade zero markers. And we can uh, only collect them one by one. The first three correspond to um, the coordinates. You can see there's one for uh, distance, and if you check the other machines, this one is for um, Toran and one on the other side is uh, for elevation. And these are the three coordinates that are used by the Great Zero. Toran or arc, it's I don't know where the word Toran comes from but I've read this described as Toran. It's basically just uh, the arc from the line of the Great Zero, the distance from the Great Zero and elevation. And we need to uh, calibrate these coordinates one by one. Well, the first one we're going to do actually is this one. Which is the Toran marker. And you can see here the coordinates, it indicates where this marker is. But since we don't have any part of our key active yet, it's very hard to actually locate this um, this marker that way unless you actually understand how the coordinates work so, pr uh, so pretty much your only recourse is to run around Dunny until you happen to find it and since there's only one this time that's going to be uh, considerably more difficult than before of course I have the distinct uh, benefit of knowing where the markers are. And this first one is um, actually located in on the balcony of the canyon alley which we can reach via our Agora book. This one. Uh, what side is it on? Apparently on neither side. Where's this thing hiding? Oh, <laughs> it's in the center. I seem to re recall it was on the side, but apparently not. Okay. Well, after having collected the marker, we have to go back to the grade zero. So yeah, there's just going to be a bit of linking back and forth uh, now, which is unfortunately unavoidable. I guess it's not going to be as interesting to watch in the video. But what can you do? We don't use this upload machine, we have to go back to the machine uh, for this particular coordinate.
And we need to go there anyway to activate the next one. Okay. So, insert my key into the slot again, and it lights up, indicating it's working. And now, when uh, we look at our key, we see that the Toran coordinate is functioning. Well, we'll continue with the distance coordinate in the next video.